Africa Magic Viewers Choice Award was extended from a one-day event to a three days fully packed event. The series of activities for this year kicked off yesterday, May 18th in Lagos, Nigeria, with the opening night and cultural day event. The dress theme of the cultural day was celebration of Africa culture and diversity. This event precedes the runway show and nominee gala slated to hold later today, May 19th, and the award show that we're all looking forward to see tomorrow may 20th 2023 a considerable number of celebrities showed up to the cultural day and in this episode of fashion roast i will be either roasting or praising their looks whichever comes first just stay tuned if you like to hear the ratings i'll be giving your faves hey y'all chantel here welcoming you to the official ish fashion rose for the AFVCA culture at the thank you so much for joining today please do well to subscribe also don't forget to turn on the bell icon next to that subscribe button share this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching alrighty thank you so much the theme of the cultural day was pretty self-explanatory and explicit culture means the ideas the customs and social behavior of a particular people or society diversity simply means the condition of being different or having differences basically mention that together and coming up with a simple definition or a simple explanation of what I would have expected to see on the red carpet was just different people showcasing different tribes, different traditions through their outfits. And the first person on my list is Liko Rose. Liko Rose was styled by Medlin Boss and she showed up in this outfit by Jen Rewa. She's definitely representing the Alsa tribe in this baggy outfit. It looks so good on her. I love the stripe detailing. I love the appliques on the waistline and also the train of the dress. The outfit looks so rich, very luxurious, very regal, and she rocked it so well with the colorful beads and the coral beads in stacks on her wrist as well and i love the dramatic headgear i also really love the fact that it has a modest take to it yet so fashion forward she looks like a princess she looks like a bride for this look i'm going to rate licoros an eight out of ten medlin boss did an amazing job styling her yeah. Daniel Peters, representing the Yoruba tribe, showed up in this Ashoke outfit by Jenrewa. It's a straight cut Ashoke dress with stripe detailing. The upper part of the dress is with this mismatched sleeve. One of the sleeves is made with ruffled organza detail, while the other one is a structured sleeve with appliques on the sleeves and part of the bodice. She donned it with a matching ghillie. Makeup looks amazing. Gold choker, gold earrings. Very minimal, but still giving everything that it was supposed to give. Love that it's showing just enough and um, she carried it so well. I am going to rate Daniela Peters a 7.5 out of 10 for this look. Next in this fashion rose is Emmanuel, also a Big Brother alumni. He rocked this outfit made by Jenrewa. So far, Jenrewa has been eating up all the looks. He represented the Thief tribe in this black and white Ashoke Abada. Accessorizing of this look was kept pretty simple with primary colors, black velvet filler, gold um, necklace with an African map pendant, brown wristwatch, and black slippers very simple like i mentioned but still giving what it was supposed to give i am going to rate emmanuel a seven out of ten for this in a modern twist of the thief culture is alex wearing this dress by stitches by ic it's made with a mix of the traditional anga fabric and silk fabric it's a spaghetti strap floor length straight cut dress with chartreuse color detachable train and sleeves Hair of choice is Bantu knots that I think framed her face really well. Jewelry is this white layered necklace with matching earrings, bangles, and ring. In my opinion, I think there's some sort of confusion with this look. First thing that comes to mind without the black and white once you see this look is the epic tribe. I understand the modern take to it, but maybe another choice of sleeves would have worked. The sleeve is just giving epic and everything epic. If you know, you know. This isn't exactly giving what I think it was intended to give. It's a nice look, but I just feel like a few tweaks here and there would have made much difference and it would have looked better. So for this, I am going to rate Alex a 5 out of 10. Benita represented the Urubo people. She came looking like a bride in this pink number. This gorgeous judge number made by Ami Agomi. It's so beautiful. Off shoulder, it has the ruching on the waist, it has a train, it has the mismatched sleeves, off shoulder. I really like the monochromatic thing going on here with the gele, the hand fan. Everything looks so beautiful. The bedazzled 
George fabric is so 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 beautiful. I love the fact that they went an extra mile bedazzling the fan as well with the appliques from the George fabric. The fit on her fantastic. If you know the Robo tribe, you know that they go all out with their gilly and she gave everything with this look. I love the chunky necklace with the matching earrings, the bangle in coral makeup 10 over 10 this look was served 100 percent and i'm totally here for it i am going to rate venita a 9.5 out of 10 definitely one of my best dress love 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 it like she just she just ate this and left no crumbs <laughs> let's see her ebay stunned in this dress by ceo lumini official if you know ceo lumini official you know that she eats breathes and leaves dramatic looks which i think she executes extremely well this is no different. Beige floor length dress made with a mix of ashoke and lace. The style of the dress is this oversized bow behind that is so beautiful. If you ask me, this is a modern day Yoruba traditional style and I'm here for it. Jewelry of choice is a chunky neck piece with matching earrings, ring and bangles. Her hair was accessorized with some faux pearls which i don't think was needed <laughs> overall i think she looked elegant and very well done i am going to rate her an 8.5 out of 10 for this yummy craigs a housemate of the just concluded big brother titans is next on my list and he's wearing genrewa they kept things monochromatic in this burgundy kingly <laughs> ashoke abada with matching filler the beaded details on the front area of the abada and fila look so luxe. I love the coral bead thing going on there with the gold and all. Coral bead necklaces, bangles, gold chain, link watch, black leather bangle as well, rings, sunglasses, black shoes, and this 4-4 drape for accessorizing. I think everything sings together so perfectly with this look. The color scheme suits his skin tone as well. It's very regal, very rich, very luxurious. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Love it. Inidima representing the Fulani tribe is next on my list. In her colorful embroidered modern day Madukare outfit, adorned with loads of beads, it's a crop top. Outfit was made by Darren Fab Kunko. For accessorizing, she opted for these colorful waist beads, neck piece, and matching earrings. So beautiful. I also really like the Doreen Dankwali Arewa head tie, tied by Eminence underscore Mez on Instagram. Dramatic makeup look as well with the pop of color on her lippy. Looks well put together. I love the traditional take on this. She therefore looks like a full and new bride. I'm here for this. I am going to rate Inidima an 8 out of 10 for how well she pulled this. Uti showed up in this beaded sky blue bumper jacket with matching cargo pants in brocade fabric. Outfit was created by Ghetto World. This is a modern take of whatever Uti wanted to wear. I'm guessing it has to do with the kaftan but using the same um, brocade fabric he just went more modern with the bumper jacket and all. Is it giving much? Yeah, I'm indifferent to be honest because there's really nothing cultural about this. I understand the diversity, but it's not giving anything culturally acceptable or something that we're used to. The fabric is the only thing cultural here and um, yeah. <laughs> like I mentioned, this is a modern take of whatever he was trying to pull off on the red carpet. Hair was styled in a ponytail, sunglasses and black footwear with loads of rings not giving much in my opinion but i love the idea behind it i love the creativity as well but i don't think it is good enough for a cultural day event right so for this i am going to rate uti a 5 out of 10. i can bet that boma watched cleopatra a few days leading up to the amvca event because i mean pharaoh what's going on <laughs> he showed up in this egyptian looking inspired outfit and um yeah if you know boma you know that he's always quick to show us his chest i've said it here more than once and it keeps happening so it's very predictable at this point outfit was made by house of temi official it's a dual chrome kimono in satin fabric not necessarily for it is this stretchy fabric i don't know what the name is called with some beaded details on the sleeves matching skirt made with same fabric but in a different color is this bronze um cuff thingy on his neck he has on this chunky neck piece 
Footwear of choice is a gold gladiator sandal. Roma is giving the Egyptian pharaoh with this look. It's just a lot going on all over the place. The only thing I would say about this look is that it is self-explanatory. Once you see Roma, you know that, oh, okay, he's trying to give Egyptian, he's trying to be a pharaoh and all of that. But in my opinion, I think it's too costumey. Nevertheless, he gave something at the end of the day. I'm going to rate him a 6 out of 10 for this. At least he made an effort. Ella Zolam is next on my list. He showed up in this dual colored Ashoke with teal green filler. He was styled by Miss Obi and his outfit was made by Stitches by M.O. The neckline, shoulder and the lower part of the abada were toned down with black embroidery. Footwear of choice is a black dress shoe with gold buckle detailing. Black studs, gold bracelet, long gold chunky necklace, and a watch for jewelry. Not to forget the hostel in the accessories department. Very dapper, it looks clean, it looks well put together. I love it. I am going to rate Elo an 8.5 out of 10. Juicy J, also a housemate from the just concluded Big Brother Titan show, he showed up in a South African Soha fabric. Zulu beaded staff, beaded collar and other drapings on his neck in primary colors black and white. Black leather sandals with gold buckles for footwear. I really love how rich and tradition this look is. I love that he brought Josie to Ninja. <laughs> I had to go to my research on this look and I was very pleased with my findings. I love the Soha fabric. I love how rich it is. I love that he was daring with his look, being that he's not from here. So he has to take an extra level of confidence and comfort for you to show up like that. If you know what I mean, amazing, one of my best dress. I am going to rate him a good solid 9 out of 10 for this. Prince is the next person in this fashion rose and he represented the Igbo royalty. Outfit was made by Wabweze Clothing and he was styled by Princess Da Prada. This Indie Igbo attire can only be worn by the royals because each item represents something significant. The red cap signifies struggles of the father to cater for the family and the community at large. The Abuba Ugo or eagle white feather symbolizes status and authority for the titled men. It showed that he's highly respected, highly placed, he has dignity and is successful in a good way. This feather, like you heard, is not just from any bird but from the eagle, which I don't think that is the case with Princess Ombo. I'm just trying to explain what this look means to the Igbo people. I love the layered coral bead with the necklaces, the bangles, the matching red slippers and the staff. Very royal. Prince is a prince in real life, so I understand this look. The horse whip, everything is just in sync. I also really like how well Prince carried this look. If you know him, you know that he has the presence. He always carries himself very well. I am going to rate him a 9 out of 10 for this. The last person in this fashion rose is influencer Sophia Chisum and she presented the Delta people in this aquacha fabric embellished with coral beads. The dress was done by Rochella Empire. It's so beautiful. Floor length dress with a not so dramatic train, off shoulder detail and a low neckline. It also has these structure things going on on both sides of the bodies. The sleeves also have the tool detail with um, dangling beads. Everything about this look I think is giving. I really, really like it. In the jewelry department, you get it pretty simple with this coral bead earring and matching ring. Being that the dress is already very much adorned with coral beads. Hair of choice is bantu knots that frames her face so well. The horse whip was definitely a nice choice for accessorizing. I love the fit of it on her. Looks really well put together and I love the modern take as well in terms of the beading on the aquacha fabric. I'm here for this look and um, for that I am going to rate her an 8 out of 10. Moving over to the best and worst dress department. For best dressed female, I'm definitely going to go with Benita for representing the Urobo tribe beautifully well. She looked like a bride. Everything was amazing. Well styled, the monochromatic look, the makeup, accessorizing. Mwah, chef's kiss. Love, love, love it. Best dressed male, I'm going to go with Juicy J. I'm sure nobody expected that, but I really love his look. Everybody was definitely rooting for Yemi, and I'm sure most of you watching this are doing the same at this point. But I'm going to go with Juicy J. Everything about that look is giving tradition, and I am here for that cultural heritage. I'm here for the inclusion of the South African culture. Everything was giving. 
totally. <laughs> my best dressed meal. Worst dressed female, nobody in my opinion. I feel like most of the guests looked amazing. I don't have anybody for worst dress in the female category. In the male category, however, I will go with Uti. I don't understand what was going on there. Uti is known to always bring it on the red carpet each and every time. It's not just giving as much as it should. So definitely my worst dress male category. Thank you all so much for watching. Per usual, let me know your best and your worst dress in the comment section. If any, share this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe if you are yet to. Please, I'm looking to get to 50,000 subscribers before my birthday. That is less than a month away. I know we can do it. We're almost at 46,000 now. So let's bring our A game. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.